we also need to use an enable signal for our latch so we need to design an sr latch with enable signal so let's assume we have this nor gate based sr latch let's draw it so this was our snr inputs but now since i need to use an enable signal i will be using an and gate here so and using this gate i will be controlling my sr latch so this will be my enable signal i will call this s i will call this r right so s will be controlling this input if this input is one i will get a zero here and one here so this should be my q naught and this will be my q signal okay so let's fill up our functionality table so i have this enable signal and s and r here let's say my q t plus one here so if the enable is zero i will have zero here and zero here so this will be my hold state and i will be getting qt at my output so here i don't care about what is s what is r so this will be giving a hold state for me right so it is holding my sr latch it means there is no change so i am disabling my sr latch so i am holding previous value right if enable is one then if i have zero zero here then i will be keeping my previous value right this is the whole state with enable one zero i will have one here zero one i will have zero here and one one this is the we say this is the forbidden state right so by adding two end gates to this nor based sr latch i was able to design a latch with enable signal right and this is the functionality table for this latch similarly let's do a timing diagram for this so let's say i have this s signal and let's say i give a set here and let's say this is my r signal and i give a reset here and i give another set here then i give a reset here so snr given like this and i have this enable signal let's say i enable it here and goes down here so i have given this sr and enable signals and we are required to find out this q signal right let's say initially q is zero so i will keep my zero until here now at this point i got the enable but the s become one at this period so then i will have my q will become one here and then here i have zero zero and one so i will keep my q to be one until this point right at this point i have this reset signal then my output will go to zero and it will stay at zero and at this point i have enabled zero it means i cannot change my output until here so i don't care about this because my enable signal is low so at this point my enable becomes high but my set and reset is zero so i will keep until s become one so at this point s is one r is zero so my q will become one and then it will continue after that okay so we can also design a ledge using NAND gates let's design an sr ledge with enable using NAND gates so in this case i will have NAND gates in my ledge so this is the cross coupled one right and i have another one here and this, this will be my enable signal and this will be my s signal this will be, be r signal okay so to control this input i need to have a zero here right zero here controls this one to get a zero here i need to get a one here and one here right so if i have s is one let's say this is zero and this is one zero and one this is one so this is the dominant gate right now so this one is you cannot control a NAND gate with a one so i have a zero here a zero here will give a one here so then i will make this my q output and this will become my q not output. okay so by putting s and r values here i'm just trying to make sure where is my q and where is my q not so this is what we did let's say i have this enable signal and s and r here this is my q t plus one so if enable is one if s is one r is zero so my q is one here then you can try other cases if s is zero and r is one right 
so what will happen so one and one here uh, it will give me zero here zero and one here it will give me one here i don't need to look at this right i don't need to know this since i have a zero here i will have a one here a one here it will come here so we have one and one here and this will give a zero here so s is zero r is one i got zero here let's try s is zero and r is zero if this is the case i have a one here and i have a one here so i have a q here and q not here so here i will be having q and here i will be having q not so i am not changing my state so this will have q t here and one one this is forbidden right so if the enable is zero so i don't care about this snr so this will be in a hold state as well so this is the function at the table for this sr latch this is my forbidden state let's review the forbidden case one more time so forbidden case for this if this is zero and if this is zero so this is the forbidden so how do i make this is zero if this is one and if this is one right if i make this one and this one and one and one will give me zero one and one will give me zero so both s and r inputs one and one it's a forbidden state okay now with the enable i am saying this is my s input this is my r input right so but what is forbidden forbidden is here right these two lines should not be zero at the same time if i set s and r one one here then it will be a the forbidden state 